Hey traders, John Hal here with you. Gonna give you a quick market update. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, market update time. Let's get straight into it. Uh, we're gonna have a look, quick look at the all the markets here, just real quick. Uh, first, let's bring up the three month view. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys is that, as you guys know, that the Dow Jones hit my projection target and it's been coming off ever since, just slightly, very, very, very slightly. Noticing my stochastics are coming down through here and we're almost at this. This is actually the high point. This is actually a high point or the highs back here, back from actually last year. And that's where it's actually bounced off today, today and yesterday maybe. but. You see, this is the absolute high point before the market started coming off through here uh, back in, was that May? Yeah, back in May. Um, May? Yeah. So back in May, we can see that that's, that's made, made, a, made a, a, a high point before coming off. Now you can see it actually bouncing off. So it's very, very interesting to see what's actually going on through here with the uh, with with the Dow Jones, you can see it came down, bounced off there. So is this a flag or is this continuation down more? We'll have to wait and see with that one. Let's have a, let's go have a look at Apple. Apple had a big gap up, didn't it? I'll get to that bit later on. Let's have a look at the S&P. The S&P looks like it's still building this nice flag formation. This actually looks quite bullish, guys. I'll tell you what. I, I mean, I actually expect to see a bit bit more of a rally out of this. It's just building such a nice base through here. You can see, look at that, look at that whole flag building, rallying up, going sideways, sideways, sideways. I'm actually expecting to see a market break up, but I, that doesn't mean I'm going to trade, oh, I'm gonna buy a call because I think it's gonna go up. No, no, you knuckleheads. <laughs> Some people think just because they're like, oh, I think it's gonna go up. That means I'm actually putting a trade on. No, I'm just giving you guys a market update to show you what I'm seeing here. It doesn't mean, you know, I have a plan on when to get in. What I think, what I think the market's gonna do is whatever. Right, so if we break above this resistance line, then I think it's going to rally back up to here. If we break below it, we're going to rally back down. So wherever we go to, whether we break up or down, we'll likely to have have at least a two or three percent, two or three percent, or actually that's about about one or so one percent to the high side. If it if it drops out here, then we'll likely to spend you know, another couple of percent on the downside. So. But I won't be trading this at all. I'll just be watching this. Why? Because I'll, I'm waiting for my my setup. Some of you guys think you've got to be in this market every single day. You got to you got to be trading every single move. It's not like that. So he's like, oh my goodness, John, look, the market went up here four percent. You missed that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I missed that on that move. You you know, it's like that's not how trading is. Like that's not that, that's not how trading is, right? You don't you can't pick every single move. It's just impossible. Look at the Russell. The Russells continue up slightly. Almost hit my overall um, top target here, which was the one two two level. So um, that's that, that's this is very 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 sluggish, isn't it? You can see the last sort of week, yeah, all in the all markets are very sluggish. Ever since we uh, really had that big run up, and now we're just doing nothing. But the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq still pushing higher, and this point up here, which is the five thousand two hundred twenty seven level. That's actually the ultimate high point ever. So it looks like to me that the Russell's actually trying to make a run for these highs and maybe even break above the highs through there. So that's what the that's what the Nasdaq is look that's what the Nasdaq's doing as well too. So the overall picture guys, Nasdaq is just running high, running high, running high. I I don't know how how this market is now being overextended, but in times like this, and I've seen this year that the Fed and the government and whoever's trading this market uh, can keep pushing this up and up and up and up and up. So you know this thing, this thing looks like it's you're getting so much good volume as well too around where we are. The stochastics are pinned, so this looks like it's trying to make a run for new highs on the Nasdaq. So anyway, guys, let's see what happens. Remember, success can be yours if you go climb, so step up, take massive action, and face your fears today. 
I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.